In today's video, I'm here to show you how you can export your music or synchronize your playlist from record box into a USB pen drive and plug it and play it on the Panet DJ equipments to use it to its full potential. Now, please do not skip this video and watch this video till the end if you want to be a better DJ and if you want to be future ready. Let's go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. What's good you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So in my previous video, I mentioned that the number one thing that you need to do is that you need to start using technology to your advantage. And one way of doing that is by analyzing your music on record box and then exporting it to a pen drive and then plugging it and playing that record box analyzed files on the cdjs so you can use the cdjs to its full potential and quite a few of you asked me the right way to do this because there were a few people who were losing their playlists their tracks and all those other important things from their pen drives while exporting or using the sync manager so today i thought I will make a video and I will teach you the right way to synchronize your music and export your music into a USB pen drive. But before I do that, please let me show you what is the difference between analyzed files and non-analyzed files on the CDJ. This is the Nexus 2, but these features work in almost any CDJ, even the CDJ 350. So you better watch and see the difference. Okay, now let me show you the difference between analyzed music and non-analyzed music and files. Okay, so here I have a SD card which is not analyzed by record box and I'm going to plug that in now First thing that you can see is it says record box data not found for optimum performance use record box free download And it actually recommends you to go ahead and start using record box That is an indication that you must that's the first thing now if you can see the only option you see when you click on SD is Folder you don't see playlist. You don't see key. You don't see album. You don't see artist. You cannot see any of that so if you have folder when you click on folder and go into the folder you ha you can see all your tracks but that's all it you cannot see uh, you know you cannot search you cannot use the search function because that's grayed out you cannot use the playlist function that's grayed out you cannot use the track function that's uh, you know grayed out matching is grayed out all other information is grayed out but and another thing is when you play a certain track right you cannot even see the waveform you can't see the waveform here which is a small waveform and you cannot even see the large waveform here and that is one of the drawbacks of having music which is non-analyzed also if you can see this is the bar indication that is also not available if it's not analyzed by record box you cannot see that information as well so if you play you can see that it's playing obviously because the time is changing and all that it's changing you can see that it's loading the waveform after it's playing so obviously you cannot see where your drops are where your you know where your build up is and all of that so you cannot see all that information here when your music is not analyzed and also for DJs who use the sync feature you cannot use the sync feature you cannot use instant doubles and all of that but However, if you have your pen drive which is analyzed, if your music and files are analyzed, when you click on USB, first thing it says is my settings data was found, press menu and load. That is how you can select your own settings. You can have your own settings and it can be same throughout any equipment that you connect. And this works in any uh, CDJ back till 350, CDJ 350, it works on 350 as well. So when you click there, as you can see, there are all this information now, BPM, Playlist, artist, album, track, key, search, matching, folder, file name, etc. And earlier only folder was available. Now in this you can see the tracks by BPM, see the tracks by playlist. Let's just choose playlist because I have my playlist and inside that you can see my folders. See, these are all my folders, right? Now if I go into this folder and then I go into this playlist. So that's the difference. This is a folder. This is a playlist. Okay. Those are two different icon types over here. Obviously, when I select the track, I can also see the waveform. But before I show you that, I want to show you the most important feature, which is the sort feature. You click on this button here and now you have the sort feature. When you click on sort, you can see that I can sort my files by BPM, by default, by alphabet, by artist, by album, track, rating, key, date added and date DJ play count. Now, these are amazing features. I mean, imagine now I have all this set 
if if you see my playlist my folders and all of my music is here in case i want to play by bpm all i need to do is click here click sort select bpm and all of my files will be sorted by bpm if i want to sort it by you know say date added oldest to newest so this is the newest and then at the bottom completely is the oldest right so that's how i can use the sort function for example if i'm using the bpm function if i'm playing the first track it will show me obviously the bpm and all that information and you can see that it is also showing the waveform it is also showing me the big waveform and when i play it it will play along with the track and you can also see that the bar information is available and you can also see that the needle uh, the second bar option is also available and when you go into this shortcut menu you can see that track i can search by track i can see my playlists all at once i can click on the search and i can start typing and search the tracks that is an amazing feature that is the biggest advantage i would say of analyzing your music and that is you can use search if i'm searching for ariana grande db remix one of my remixes see i can just quickly search and play even your hot cues which you have set in your computer uh, while analyzing the files all those will be automatically loaded while you load this track for example i've just set these up now i'm going to go back i'm going to choose a different track right and when i go back to that particular track again you can see that all my cue points are also loaded automatically and that is also one of the record box features if you analyze the files so you tell me why wouldn't you want to do this so there you have it those are the differences and there are a lot of features which are missing if you don't analyze your pen drives so you must analyze your music all right i also want to tell you a few tips about record box and what you shouldn't be doing and that will be at the end of this video so please watch this video till the end all right now let's quickly plug in this usb here and i'm going to show you the process of synchronization now the first thing that you need to remember is that this particular usb that you're using is fresh it's uh, formatted in the right format and it is something which you use only for record box and you do not use this usb for anything else okay you need to have a fresh usb after you uh, plug that in you can see that in record box here you can see the device is connected and this pen drive is called db music okay and here on the top you can see these are my playlists and these are my folders in the playlist and then in the folders are my playlists now if this is a folder this is a playlist and inside the playlist you can see that it has all my tracks and you can also see that these tracks are already analyzed by record box every time you drag and drop a file into record box it's already analyzed it you can see that it has the phrase information it has the waveform and all of the other information like the bpm and key Okay now I've already made a video about this in which I showed you how to create the playlist and how to organize your music in record box. If you can see here this is how my music looks in my computer and in my record box it's a complete replica of my folders and this is the most important thing. I strongly believe that organization of music within the laptop is important before you start using record box. So I've already made a video about this. I've showed you the right way of doing it. I've showed you how I do it and I've explained why this is one of the best ways. So, if you're interested to watch that and if you are really interested into getting into record box, I strongly recommend you watch that video right after this and then you can come back to this and you'll know how to export your files. So, coming back to this video in which I'm showing you how to export, you can see that all the files are already analyzed, right? The first way is that you can click on the folder let's say this folder is where all my other folders are right so i'm going to right click here and then click on export folder and it will show me the usb that is connected this usb is called db music that is one way if you click export all of your files will be exported into the uh, pen drive but this is one way which i don't like because in this uh, if i make any changes into my playlists that will not be reflected in my pen drive the next time i connect so what i use instead is sync manager and synchronization so synchronization exporting and transferring are three different things transferring is when you're transferring data from your computer using the computer software like if it's a mac or if it's a windows using that to transfer files from a to b and that is what you used to do when you're not exporting right the second thing is exporting you're exporting using a software like record box so that is called exporting and the third option is sync manager in sync manager it's basically synchronization 
whatever is present on your Rekordbox DJ software, whatever changes you will make in your playlist will be automatically synchronized every time you plug in your USB. Okay, so that is how Sync Manager works. All right, so now I am going to show you how to use the Sync Manager because I don't like to use a right click and export folder. What I do instead is I use Sync Manager. So if I click on Sync Manager here, this is the screen that will open up. And here you can see that this is the device that is connected, DB Music. First thing that you need to do is that you need to check this option here, which is synchronize playlist with the device. If this is not checked, your playlist will not be transferred. On the left, you'll see there is this iTunes folder or iTunes section. You can completely ignore that. Don't worry about it for now. You don't need to uh, get into that. And in the middle, you can see that this is where your playlists are and this is where your folder is. You can also see all the other folders and other playlists here. But if you want to use this pen drive just for record box, which I strongly recommend, do not put anything else. Use this particular pen drive. See, I use two pen drives. What I do is I create one pen drive with all my music and I create a replica of that in my other. So for whatever reason, if my link cable stops working or if the link port is damaged, I always have a backup of my USB so I can plug both of these USB in and it will play on both the players. So I, I create two replicas. Now this is a 128 GB SanDisk. I've already made a video about this. I will link this down if you're interested to pick it up. I will link this down as well. So that's what I will be doing. I will be transferring all of my tracks into this USB, not just one playlist. So I want this to be a replica of my files in record box, okay? So that is what I'll be doing here. Once I've selected all my playlists, I have to click on this arrow here, which says synchronizes playlist you selected to a device. And as soon as you tap on this, what happens is it will export all of this data, all of the playlists at once. Let me show you. I'm going to tap on it. And here at the bottom, you can see it's exporting and it's quite fast. If your computer is fast enough and if you use USB 3.1 USBs and if you're using an SSD on your laptop, it's going to be very fast. And as I spoke, it's done. Click OK and that's it. Now, if I close this and I go into my pen drive and then click playlists, you can see that my master folder is here and then my playlists uh, and folders are here and then my playlist with all of the music is here. It's an exact replica of my record box playlist into the USB. And now when I plug this particular USB into the players, all of the information will be available like the BPM, the waveform, the track number, artist, album, uh, key, rating, all those information will be available for you to access. Now, other thing which I want to tell you is that on your pen drive, when you click here, there is an option called category and sort. Here, I have added these things here into my active categories. You can remove, for example, if I don't want to use matching, I can you know, click on this arrow and I can remove it. But if I want to have it, I can click on matching and I can add it back again. I personally uh, use artist, album, track, key, playlist, history, search, folder, matching and BPM in the, in the category section. In the sort section, I have uh, obviously default alphabet, uh, artist, album, BPM, key, date added in DJ play count. And you can also add many more, but I just need these many. So I've added that already. And you can see that this is a sort menu. This is how you can sort your music according to these options. And you can also have your settings here. You can create settings for your uh, for each of your players and you can just export into this. And when you click sync, all of this is exported into your USB. And that my friends is the right way to synchronize your analyzed music into a USB so that you can use the equipment to its full potential. Now let's talk about the tips that I mentioned earlier. Now one thing that you need to remember when you're using the sync manager is that in your playlist, for example, if you want to just add commercial, if you've made some changes into the commercial hip hop folder or playlist, you have to make sure that all of your other playlists are also checked. Even if you make changes to one playlist or even if you want to just transfer one playlist, or synchronize one playlist, all of your playlists should also be ticked. Don't worry, there will be no duplicates. That's a sync. That's the uh, charm of synchronization. If there is anything that you've deleted, it will automatically delete it from the pen drive as well. So when I say this, what I mean is, for example, uh, let's just say that I uncheck everything and because I'd made some changes in this particular folder, I select that. If I click here, what will happen is all of the other playlists will be removed. I'm going to show you. 
see all of the other files are gone and only that one particular playlist is available in that folder and that will be reflecting in your console and that is the one of the biggest mistakes that DJs do just because they made some changes and they want only that one uh, playlist to be exported you do this no this is not the right way all your playlists should always be checked in okay and when you click on synchronize again all of the files will be added again and you can see that all of the folders and all of the playlists inside of that folder is available remember this this is a very important thing if you are not synchronizing correctly your files can be corrupted and if you're not synchronizing correctly your files will not be visible on the cdjs now that is an important tip second important tip that i wanted to uh, tell you guys is when you open the folder <clears throat> when you open the pen drive right this is what you will see it will show only this one folder called contents and in some instances it will also show a folder called pioneer dj okay i recommend this and i can't tell you how important this is this is very strongly recommended never change anything in this pen drive or never try to access these files or go into these files and change anything from here okay if you do this even once all of your files can get corrupted and if you try to access this folder from your computer there are chances that the analyzed data will be lost and that is something which you don't want and if analyzed data is lost and you plug in your usb you will see this folder and that's it you cannot see the playlist you cannot see the keys you cannot see the bpm information and all of that and that is the biggest risk of opening your pen drives folder directly uh, on your computer never do that every time you plug it in i strongly recommend let it be do not open it do not go and check it don't worry all you need to do is use your record box dj software here you can see that the device is connected here you can see that all your playlists are there here you can see that all your playlists and folders are present and your files are here if you tap on a certain file you can see that it's playing for example if this file is not available there'll be an exclamation mark here and i've already made a video about it where you can ex you know retrieve your files which you have lost that is another video i'll link all these videos down in the description check that out also so if you select this particular track add it here and if it's loading and if it's playing it means that it's there so please do not open your folder from the computer directly always use record box to access your media or your record box analyzed files on the record box dj pen drive okay let's just call it as a record box pen drive do not use it for anything else do not use it to take pictures from somebody or some files or some documents don't do it on this pen drive if you're a professional dj i strongly recommend you use this professionally only for one thing and that is for music and for djing okay all right so there you have it guys this is how you can use the sync manager to correctly export all of your analyzed music from record box into your usb so you can use that particular pen drive on your dj equipment especially the pioneer dj equipment this software's music and files will only run correctly on pioneer dj equipment and if you use the pioneer dj equipment all of the time i cannot recommend this uh, more you have to use record box analyzed files so that you can use these players to its full potential so please start doing that from this year i'm sick and tired of seeing djs who are way older than us and they are not using analysis files and analyzed files and they don't use record box i don't know why they don't want to evolve with time guys please don't be that dj evolve with time if you want to be in the game and the future is coming towards us quite fast there are a lot of advances the ddj flx6 the most recent controller is a completely new redesign and ai is going to come on your controllers and there is a lot other things that are being added into the record box 6 dj software it's time to catch up to all these things we started using this like 4 5 years ago and if you're still not using it guys there's something definitely wrong with you and you're not serious about it so please start using technology to your advantage especially when it comes to djing you can be a better dj by it that's been it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys got to learn something new if you guys did please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends all your dj buddies should know this and also while you're at it i strongly recommend that you subscribe to my youtube channel because that will help me and it will motivate me to make more such videos that's been it my name is deep and i will see you guys in the next one happy to help
it sound right, boy.